Hi guys, and welcome to Coffee Music. Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's Taylor Tuesday. And today I am excited to have two of my favorite customers, I might say. I don't want to say bad about other customers, but uh, Mr. David Carpathite here, a uh, Taylor guitar enthusiast, and Mr. Bobby Huntermark. Uh, welcome to Taylor Tuesday at Coffee Music. Guys, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you fell in love with Taylor guitars and why they sing to you. David, you go first. Uh, back in the late 80s, I walked into a music store down in Southern Maryland. Actually, you were with me. You may not remember this. Um, but we walked into a music store down in Southern Maryland, and I saw Taylor for the first time. And I was, at the time, playing a lot of electric stuff. But when I picked it up, I thought, this is different. And I was tempted at that time. It just kind of nothing happened. Still playing with the electric stuff. Later on, came to um, coffee music, and I started at the other store when it was a smaller store. Mm -hmm. But once Taylor came into this store, um, first time I picked one up, I had to have one. So that's just the playability, the sound, the crispness, you mm -hmm. know, the articulation. Nothing beats a Taylor. They're wonderful guitars for sure. What, what's in your arsenal or what have you had in the past? Because I know you're well, <laughs> one of those kind of guys. <laughs> I've had just about and every. If the missus is listening, let's, let's make sure we censor just, her out. <laughs> well, just remember that I would trade in and trade ah, okay. up. <laughs> no, I started out, I think, with an 814, mm -hmm. and it was the old 814 with the Rosewood, of course, but it was the old 814 with the, the um, Fender, um, Fishman. Uh, Fishman, sorry, Fishman Electronics. And the, um, that guitar I played for a good while. It really was one, I, it's one of those ones that got away from me. I shouldn't have uh, traded in. But then I wanted something that was going to stand out a little more. Went to a 614. Um, from there, I've probably had just about everything in the line. <laughs> Currently, I have um, this T5, which was an original from 2005. And, and I might add, this was the first one that came out of Coffee Music. Am it I was. Correct? The yeah. first T5. Uh, the most misunderstood guitar. Just remember, it has its own voice. Don't try to make it sound like something else. Anyway. And then uh, now I have an 814 Coca Bolo. It's a 2012 limited edition and a 2012 914 um, and a GS Mini in mm -hmm. Rosewood. So that's my Taylor collection currently. Very, very nice, very nice. And this guy sitting beside you, how do you know him? Well, we grew up together. In fact, we played together for many years. Um, and we uh, got back together recently and have been playing together for several years now with another guy that uh, is a bass player. <clears throat> which we didn't need to include him because he's a bass player. Well, Taylor does make bass guitars. I, I know, know they so do. So we'll have to do a follow-up. They do. And he's, uh, he likes the Taylors. Mm -hmm. um, so we started playing uh, together again and doing duet stuff and then trio stuff. Mm -hmm. And we all grew up in the same area and we've kept the band going. That's cool. And music kind of just brings you together for life, which is awesome. Bobby, what uh, what kind of guitar you got here? I think I've got a, what is it, 314? 314 CE, yeah. Yeah, I started off with, um, I think it was a 410, and that was a Rosewood guitar. Mm -hmm. Limited edition. Oh my, that was a beautiful guitar. And I traded it in for this one because I just wanted this uh, single cutaway and the electronics was an upgrade for me. Mm -hmm. And so um, D D Dave does his homework. So when I, um, when I wanted a, a good quality acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. um, I saw what it was playing. It sounded good. Um, came in here, uh, you gave me a great deal yeah. on the, uh, the uh, 410 and picked it up and, and it just felt good. Mm -hmm. It sounded good. And it never stopped sounding good. Yeah. And the, the one thing, if I may say about Taylor guitars, their uh, consistency and build is just so amazing. You can pick up any Taylor. It has the same kind of neck feel, and the, the, the sound is great and crisp. Mm -hmm. I remember when you came in looking for this guy here, because at that point in time, we had two 314 CEs. Mm -hmm. You picked the one up off the floor, and you played it for a little bit, and you said, yeah, this is the one. And you remember what I asked you? <laughs> Are you sure? Because I have another one. You should probably A, B him. And I, well, you finish the story. Well, we did. And uh, I was just surprised that uh, the little bit of difference in sound because of the, uh, every one of them is, yeah. is unique. Uh, it, they're, well, they're, they're works of art. Um, every good guitar is. And it made just enough difference for me to change my mind and go with a, another one just because you suggested trying both of them out. But that's, that's both one thing, of them were great guitars. They're, yeah, they're great guitars, but the one that fits you 
personally, you know, and that's why I always like to recommend if you have the opportunity to actually try the guitar out. A lot of people in today's world, they'll just buy it online and they'll read reviews and think that that's the perfect one. And it may very well be. But again, if you've got the opportunity to check them out side by side, it's a world of difference. And uh, I just, you know, we're, I'm grateful that we can offer that to our customer base and try and get the right guitar, find your fit, as, as Taylor would say. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys being, you know, Taylor enthusiasts and coffee music fans for a while. Um, how about if you, you take us out today here? with a nice tune or two. Sure. on down to Coffee Music to check out our huge display of Taylor guitars. Coffee Music is located at 31 East Main Street in downtown Westminster.